In my past video, I described the nuclear process in the sun with electron volt being the most prominent unit of measurement. But I never did explain what it is in depth, and without context, my video may not have any impact at all. So this is a supplementary to my other videos to come in my past videos. Uh, and don't ask why it's not in Malay, because oh my god, this is just impossible to write in Malay. So without further ado, let's start by breaking it down. An electron is a negatively charged elementary particle. And a volt is a unit of electric potential, electric potential difference and electromotive force. An electron volt is none of these two. It is an extremely small unit of energy. The equivalence of 1 EV, that's electron volt, 2 joules is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. Now wait a second, what exactly is a joule you might ask? To give everybody a better understanding of a joule for a second here, we are going to refer to this equation. The simplest one out of these is the Newton meter. So if you take a Toblerone bar and move it about a meter, we've expended one joule of energy or in EV about 6.2 times 10 to the power of 18 electron volt. That is incredibly small. What were the creators of the EV thinking? We will never need that unit in our classical world, but we do need it to study processes of the quantum world now, for example, in my solar system video, I described the proton-proton chain, or the PP chain, as having an energy output of 26.7 mega electron volts. If I use joule instead for the system, the number would be tremendously small, and this complicates the math, data crunching, computerized simulations, plane comparison, and even general understandings for that matters. Going back on track, we still have to know the scale of the unit. Now, what is it exactly? Well, you can get some clue from the meaning of the two things that make up the word electron volt and the fact that it is a unit of energy. An electron volt is, by definition, the amount of energy gained or lost by the charge of a single electron moving across an electric potential difference of 1 volt. Thus, it is 1 volt multiplied by the elementary charge. That is a lot of jargons, so I want you to just consider the following. This is a hydrogen atom I deem best to explain the electron volt in, co in a compact manner. So in this atom, there is one occupied electron shell containing one electron. Uh, the electric potential difference for each shell outwards will increase steadily by one. And now a button of and now a photon of 3 electron volts hit the atom. Because the atom has an electron shell that electron can jump into when absorbing 3 electron volts of energy, the electron will jump to that electron shell or in other words, jump into a higher energy state. There is a lot of physics involved in my little example there and it might be even wrong soon because science is ever-changing, not to mention the hand-wavingness nature of the video.